Joining us here now, Post 9, and a first on CNBC interview is Mike Siebert. Nice to see you. Great to be here, you guys. So I guess revenue was, was good, if you look at services revenue, which, which is what matters, and the additions were good. What, what is, I mean, we always ask this, what is driving growth in this industry? Well, you know, this is another quarter showing that our strategy, which has been so consistent of delivering the best network and the best value, is delivering reliable, consistent growth, both at the top line and the bottom line. Service revenues consolidated will lead the industry again. Postpaid service revenues, which were most of the values created, 6.4 percent, about one and a half times peers. And so that's really great to see. And that's translating into double-digit EBITDA growth. Cash flows up 94 percent year over year, with lots of room to run, as we talked about in previous outlooks for next year. So we're just in a great spot where what we have to offer is unique, and that's translating into results for our customers and as well as for our investors. What's going on with pricing? There's this, there's this narrative in the industry, and there's been some excitement around Verizon and AT&T. They, they were coming from a much lower valuation. That maybe pricing is moving up, that there's pricing power, although you shot down a report, I think, on the conference call this morning that you were looking at a price increase. What's, what's the story here? Well, ARPA, average revenue per account, is rising. Uh, this quarter, we were up more than 1% versus a year ago. And what's happening is customers are self-selecting up our rate plans because they want more of T-Mobile. We're delivering a fantastic network experience, and our new Go 5G Plus rate plans, which happen to be at the higher end, are also our most popular. So revenue per account's rising. And that, you know, that means we don't have the same need that others might to slam customers with you know, uh, surprise pricing. Increases. So you're not looking at raising prices. We're always looking at ways we can rationalize our rate plan structure. We have lots of old legacy rate plans. Uh, we may look into whether or not we can simplify, whether customers will appreciate and accept new plans. Um, but it's, you know, what we're finding is that there, our most popular plan, 60% plus of new loading, is go 5G plus and better. And that's amazing, you know, that we're attracting some of the best customers in the industry now with payment rates better than our peers and prime customer, prime credit customers at all-time highs for T-Mobile. Uh, Mike, a lot of focus on the iPhone 15 launch. Uh, you know, a typically a, a launch like that or a new product has gets switching few upgrades. On the call, you said um, you feel fantastic about it, but you did admit when you look at upgrades, it's a little lower. The upgrade rate at 2.7% is a little bit lower. So what's going on there? Why do you feel fantastic if, in fact, things are not coming in, perhaps, where they have in the past? Well, remember, if you can have low upgrades and low churn at the same time, that, that's the trifecta, because upgrades cost a lot of money. And, you know, we, in this industry, because of all the competitive intensity, we subsidize phones to a great degree, including for existing customers. And what T-Mobile does is successfully, surgically provide upgrades for the customers who want them most. And remember, day to day, T-Mobile customers are having a much faster 5G experience, twice the speeds, even after all that C-band deployment of our competitors, twice the speeds of our competitors on 5G. So they just don't have the same impetus to upgrade as fast. And we're beneficiaries of that because those upgrade, you want low upgrade rates right. and low You're churn. You're a beneficiary. I guess right? in part, though, our audience also cares about Apple for obvious reasons. I mean, how would you characterize the launch of the 15? Well, I would say it's, it was a big success in that it did drive switching for us. And one of the things that's interesting is this new iPhone unlocks advanced network technologies that only T-Mobile has. So we have what's called four, I'm a geek out on you, four-way <laughs> carrier aggregation. That means the phone can talk to four different bands of our network at the same time. It's a breakthrough for an iPhone. And we're the only ones that have it. That, and that's going to feed even more speed and performance for T-Mobile customers relative to our competitors, which might mean that these low upgrade rates for us will have some durability into the future.